Hey guys, and welcome into another movie reaction. This was another poll movie voted on by you, and we are watching Clueless today. At first, the poll was pretty neck and neck with Clueless and Ferris Bueller's Day Off, but then Clueless pulled ahead. I'm not surprised because Clueless is just that movie. Do you know what I mean? Like Clueless, I don't... Sometimes I am shocked at myself at the movies I haven't seen. And I love teen movies. I've seen a lot of teen movies. I think I want to ask you guys below what your favorite teen movie is just in case... I'm missing any more outside of Clueless. I'm sure I, I obviously am, but any more big hitter teen movies. I want to make sure I cover all that and I would love to react to them on this channel since this is just where the channel is veering off to for a second here. But yeah, Clueless is an iconic movie. Uh, I, I, I don't know how I haven't seen it yet either. My little sister has seen it. She's 14 and she's like, how you are the movie person of this family and you've not seen Clueless? That's kind of an L on your end. So here is what I know about this movie. I know it came out in 1995. I know that Miss Alicia Silverstone is the star. I would love to know if she this was a breakout role for her or if she already was a star going into this movie. I know Brittany Murphy, I believe, is in the cast. And then I didn't know this until just recently when I was Googling Clueless to see where I could watch it. I the cast list popped up when I Googled the name. And Paul Rudd is in this movie had no idea. I would not have known if that didn't pop up for me this week. I also knew two kind of iconic lines from this movie, which is obviously Cher going as if and like pushing some guy away from her. And then I think it's Brittany Murphy's character. Um, she has a, a famous line that's something like, like, you're a virgin and you can't drive or someone's saying that to her or she's saying it. I don't know. I don't know. But that's another funny line that I know. I know that this is considered a comedy romance, which I, I don't know how heavy on the romance it goes because based on the vibe of the movie, I just always assumed it was straight comedy, like more Mean Girls style, which I guess Mean Girls is somewhat, it has romance elements in it, but I wouldn't consider it a romance. I'd consider it pretty straight comedy. And that's what I thought the vibe of Clueless was. So we'll see how heavy handed the romance is. Obviously Cher is the main character played by Alicia Silverstone. I know the iconic yellow and plaid outfit that she wears. And I think that is where my knowledge ends on this movie. It's mostly aesthetics that I am aware of and a couple taglines. So I'm excited to finally check this off my list, see what it's all about. I can't imagine it's, I'm not going to enjoy it. Even if it's not my favorite movie of all time, this is just one of those types of movies where it's impossible to not enjoy it unless you hate fun. That's what I think. So I'm excited to get into it. Before we do, I would like to let you know that if you would like to watch the full movie along with me, my uncut reaction is available on my Patreon that is linked below where I post full reactions, I post bonus content, we have a Discord, I po send out postcards. It's just a lot of fun over there and also a great way to support me in the channel. But if you are more interested in just watching the edited reaction, let's get into it here on YouTube. Oh, it's giving Lizzie McGuire. It's giving Lizzie McGuire. I love the little cartoon effects. But seriously, I actually have a way normal life for a teenage girl. Oh, really? I mean, I get up, I brush my teeth, and I pick up my school clothes. What? There it is. There it is. That is wild. How rich is this girl? Daddy's a litigator. Those are the scariest kinds of lawyers. Even Lucy, our maid, is terrified of him. She, she literally screams. It's been a couple months now, so I said we go out to Malibu. Don't tell me those brain dead lowlifes have been calling again. They are your parents. Did <laughs> I show you the locked out Jeep Daddy got me? No, that is iconic. Drive, dual side airbags and a monster sound system. I don't have a license yet, but I need something to learn. Girl. <laughs> Dion and I were both named after great singers of the past who now do infomercials. <laughs> oh my so, god. It's not even 8.30 and Murray is paging me. Is, so is that girl walking around with like a nose it. job plaster? Me up and he's all, Where were you today? No, what is that? What? Woman, why don't you be answering any of my Welcome to the 90s. I hate when you call me woman. Where you been all weekend? What's up? You jeeping behind my back? The braces. Perhaps you can explain how this cheap Kmart hair extension got into the back seat of your car. I don't know where that came from. That looks like one of your little stringy something or another. No, it does not. Head. See, I'm outie. <laughs> Bye. Why do you got to go it. there? I've why had do you got to go you. there? No, isn't that time of the month? Oh, oh no. Ew, get off of me. Ugh, as if. Oh, the uh it before it. Allowed <gasps> refuge in America. He's Mr. Princess Bride, and he's from Gossip Girl. Like right now? 
For example, the Hadians need to come to America. The Hadians. But some people are all, what about the strain on our resources? And it does not say RSVP on the Statue of Liberty. Yes, share. Mr. Hall, how can I answer that? The topic is Haiti, and she's talking about some little party. Whatever. If she doesn't do the assignment, I can't do mine. She did. It's called a metaphor. I'm going to distribute your report cards. Now, I already know where Christians. this is going to go. I don't know. She might be like a straight A student, perfect all around type of girl. But if we're talking romance, tell me she's going to fail this class. And the romance comes in the form of her and her tutor. Is Paul Rudd the tutor? The mid 90s to mid 2000s was the era of tutor student romances. And I'm here for it. The dramatics. Is he about to and jump out the, the window? How have I not heard that quote before? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. First period. I knew it. I got a C in debate. Hey, who's watching the Galleria? So the flannel shirt deal is that a nod to the crispy Seattle weather? Is that Paul Rudd? Warm in front of the refrigerator. I went by dad's office. He is not your dad. Why don't you torture your new family? <laughs> hey, just because my mother marries someone else doesn't mean he's my father. Where's your report card? It's not ready yet. What do you mean it's not ready yet? Well, some teachers were trying to lowball me, daddy. And I know how you say never accept a first offer. So <laughs> I figure these grades are just a jumping off point. Very good. <clears throat> what makes you think you can get teachers to change your grades? Doesn't he understand? Only the fact that I've done it every other semester. In the morning. What an icon. But Mr. Hall was totally rigid. He said my debates were unresearched, unstructured, and unconvincing. I needed to find sanctuary in a place where I could gather my thoughts and regain my strength. <laughs> We've got to figure out a way to make Mr. Hall sublimely happy. Romance. Something told me not to discount Miss Geist. We're going to be giving her a makeover. I've, if this movie doesn't have a makeover montage... This movie is screaming makeover montage. Rough winds do shake the dark. Oh, secret admirer classic. Thy eternal summer shall not <laughs> You know, I'm not sure I've ever in a movie, I don't think I've ever seen an actual secret admirer letter sent. I think I've only seen people pretending to be secret admirers. Oh, it better work out. She's getting so happy. She's so happy. We cannot we need to it, it needs to happen now. Oh my god, she actually looked happy. What do you mean? <gasps> well, He's interested. You were the only one in the school with any intelligence. She's so smart. No, she's so smart. Pause. This moment has taught me not to underestimate Cher, because I thought I thought this was going to be difficult, and maybe there will be some bumps along the road. But I thought this was going to be difficult because I thought she was going to be like really superficial and be like, okay, all she needs is a makeover, and then he'll care about her. But no, no, she knows that to get into this man's heart, his intelligence needs to be acknowledged. Hats off to you, Cher. No cruising around with the honor, right? Two permits do not equal a license. A licensed driver with nothing to do? <laughs> Where would I find such a loser? <laughs> I have a permit and I can drive and all, but Daddy says I can't take the Jeep out without a licensed driver. And since you're not doing anything and all, what you know... What are the chances of you shutting up till you get your way? Literally zero. In case you've never heard of that, a contribution is the Excuse me. As soon as I get my license, I fully intend to break for animals. And <laughs> would you call me selfish? No, not to your face. I think she has the typical amount of teenage girl selfishness. You have such pretty eyes. Don't hide them. No, and these shots are so cute. <laughs> and this tiny little waist. Not a total Betty, but a vast improvement. Well, we did our best. That was not, that, there better be a proper makeup montage. It doesn't even have to be Miss, Miss, I forgot her name already, Geist. Oh, Cher, he's getting her digits. Look at Geist, she's so cute. Okay. I was expecting this plant and she really said, this is my plan. I'm going to execute it and I'm going to fix my problems. And that's what she did. Uh-huh. What'd you do, turn in some extra credit reports? No. Imagine just being able to take pick a over? lemon out of your window. Got another one. <laughs> Ladies, there she is. We have a new student with us. This is Ty Frazier. Be nice. See, my mission is clear. 
Would you look at that girl? She is so adorably clueless. We've Aww. got to adopt her. Okay, Cher, I'm down for this. I was expecting Cher to be so much more like stuck up and mean girly, but she's 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 nice. We don't have any tea, but we have coke and stuff. No shit, you guys got coke here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is America. <laughs> I have asked you repeatedly not to call me woman. Excuse me, Miss Dion. Street slang is an increasingly valid form of expression. Most of the feminine pronouns do have mocking, but not necessarily misogynistic undertone. Wow. <laughs> Travis? That's nice representation. Thanks. Is this really a romance nice for me? Yeah. Wow. That's really cool. Aww. You drew that? Uh, yeah. It's so cute. I love to draw. You're really good at it. No. <laughs> no, really, you are. No. <laughs> yeah. That was so cute. There he is. Yeah. Well, as someone older, can I please give you some advice? No. It is one thing to spark up a doobie and get laced at parties, but it is quite another to be fried all day. Yeah, I... <laughs> I totally get this advice of her saying like it's one thing to do like social smoking and it's another to make it your whole life but I love her and Travis I one conversation and I'm like yes they belong together so don't tell her she can't hang out with him she doesn't have to smoke with him I'm rooting for them sometimes they come to class and say bonehead things and we all laugh of course but no respectable girl actually dates them you don't want to start off on the wrong foot now do you mm. shit you guys I've never had straight friends before. <laughs> it's happening, you guys. A music makeover montage. The soda can in the hair. <gasps> the Hannah Montana closet. Obviously, this came first, okay? The curls. Oh my god, she's so cute. Now squeeze your buddy when you come up. <laughs> 80s workout videos are just always so buddy. ridiculous and they it's don't so feel funny. Nothing like steel. <laughs> We did that is literally buns of steel. I remember doing <laughs> I remember in high school we had this gym class where we did buns of steel sometimes <laughs> and all I remember is this guy on the video going, squeeze those cheeseburgers out of your thighs. I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> 80s workout videos. That's another thing, Ty. We've got to work on your accent and vocabulary. <laughs> Let the girl keep her accent. Once in a while. Hey, you know about this stuff. I want to do something good for humanity. How about sterilization? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually funny. <laughs> it's so rude. It's so funny. Oh my god, do you see? Why did that girl have what was that? What is that hair? I know. I'm what is that hair in the back? What in the what in the Dr. Seuss is that hair? Was that a real 90s hairstyle? Cuz I've never seen it before. We're going back. What was that? Oh my god. It's they're moving too fast. Look at that hair. Look at it. Wow. Do you guys think that Travis is gonna be there? Guys, she's God, into Travis. Let her be into don't no. Don't sell yourself short now. You Let got her something like going him. through that no one in the school has. I got it. Elton. He just oh, broke off the ledge. Yes. Who's Elton? Oh my God, he's way popular. He's like the social director of the crew. Oh my God, it's Dr. Seuss girl back again. Cool picture. Doesn't she look classic? Yeah, this is... Hey, why don't you make me a copy of this, okay? Sure. Interesting. This is my Hi. friend Ty. Get out of my chair. Oh, okay. No calls tonight. But it's Dion. I'm it sorry. Might, it might be important. We're gonna have a nice family dinner. <laughs> why do parents always say that so angrily? This is gonna be a good time. We're gonna have a good dinner. Just look Murray. at the top of the map. Okay. Sun Valley is north. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, an actual map. On the wrong map. That's so stressful. Look at the number on the top. What is the number on the there top of the map? There are no numbers on the top. Oh! <laughs> Murray, shut up. Look like you're having fun and you're really popular. Talk to someone in his eye line, preferably a guy. Make him come to you. <laughs> the mind games of high school girls. Hi! Is that Dr. Seuss girl? Is that you going to my laundry? As if, like, I would really wear- As if is Cher's phrase. Cher, <laughs> you look much better in that dress than she did. But now, oh man. Ruin my satin shoes, why don't you? Girl, you can't dress like this, come to a party like this, though. What is that dancing? What is that dancing? Act like Travis is saying something funny. Hey, everyone, let's play Second Blow. Classic. 
<laughs> Why did he want to kiss her? Why did he put up Ty's picture in his locker and then want to kiss Cher? Because I'm keeping it real. Because I'm keeping it real. Because I'm keeping it real. Keeping it real. <laughs> Look what he's done to his head. Right. It's the bomb. <laughs> it's the bomb. Wait up. <laughs> that was so cool the way you did that. <laughs> I wish I could do it. Oh, no, don't. Why not? If girls do it, what would guys do to impress them? <laughs> I don't know. Cher let her... <laughs> the look on her face. <laughs> oh, man. Ty! Ty Elton, help me! <laughs> oh, my God. She's really knocked out from that. No, Travis, we've got it under control. Travis cares about her. I would have wanted you to enjoy the party. Some bump you got there. Yeah. Yeah? You ready to go back out there? Hey, can you do this? Rolling with the homies. Rolling with the homies. Yeah, let's do it. You ready? Cher, I expect you to walk in the store in 20 minutes. Oh, that's right near me. I'm I'm above Olympic. Oh, no. Great. Then Ty will go with Summer and Cher. Oh, man. Turn away. Turn away. All right. Turn away. We all just collectively got the ick, right? I think we both know what it feels like to be lonely. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh oh no. Oh oh no. Oh no. I knew it. No, you didn't. No, you don't. Ty. You have a picture in your locker. I have the picture you took in my locker. Oh, I'm having a Twin Peaks experience. <laughs> I knew it when you kissed me. The second blow is a game, Elton. <laughs> no, isn't it? Stop it! You know, I don't get you, Cher. I mean, you flirt with me all year. As if. <sighs> Cut it out. Come on. Stop it. Fine. Hey, where are you going? I don't know which one. What do you have out here? <gasps> Hand it over. <gasps> Give me the phone. <gasps> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. What? Come on. Oh, no. You don't understand. This is an alaya. And a what? I will totally shoot you in the head. Get out. Yeah, he wins. The way she's more concerned about her clothes than <laughs> he said thank you. <laughs> oh my god. No, the way she was more concerned about her clothes than possibly being shot. There was just one person left to call, and I really, really didn't want to call him. All right. He's taken our minds at the most feckin' point <laughs> and restrained them before they've wandered through the garden of ideas. Okay, Miss College just Girl. Like uh, no, uh, Hamlet didn't say that. <gasps> I think that I remember Hamlet. Accurately. No, I trust and share. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dang. She's that butthurt about being called out on being wrong about something? You're too good for him. If I'm too good for him, then how come I'm not with him? <laughs> I like him big. Ooh, I hate muscles. You know, I don't really care either why. Just as long as his you know what isn't crooked. <laughs> Breadstick. Cher is saving herself for Luke Perry. Valid. Cher, you're a virgin? Oh, God. What's wrong, Ty? The plane are so <laughs> You guys, no, you, no, you guys, no, you don't have a song. With <laughs> Searching for a boy in high school it's giving is as useless Britney as searching Spears. for meaning in a Polly Shore movie. What is this? Hello? And so until mankind is peaceful enough not to have violence on the news, there's no point in taking out of shows that need it for entertainment value. <gasps> Always a slay. I dug it. Okay. You ration this weekend? Huh? Well, like Saturday. I'm new, but I thought maybe you had an in on the heavy clam bake. What is he saying? Um... A fedora. What do you hear? <clears throat> That's a fedora. Is he fruity? What's with you, kid? You think the death of Sammy Davis left an opening in the rat pack? <laughs> Anything happens to my daughter, I got a forty-five and a shovel. <laughs> I doubt anybody would miss you. <laughs> oh my god. Why is her dad the funniest person in this movie? I didn't like him. <laughs> What's to like? Maybe I should go to the party. Ooh. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Oh my god, the little overalls. Why is she so cute? <gasps> he's going with Amber? Ah. Uh. No, he, he's probably just dancing with me. 
Do you see how he's falling in love with me? I don't think so. I don't. I mean, look how he ignores every other girl. A guy who's rather who'd rather be with the bartender. Cher. Let's go. But why is he? What is why is what is he using Cher for? Oh, I dig you. <laughs> Cher, how are you not seeing this? As soon as he walked in with a fedora on his head in 1995, you should know. We got some really delicious takeout. I bet they haven't eaten all night. Yeah, that would be pretty dope of us. No, oh, yeah, the energy is there. The energy is there for them. How many hours a day do you spend grooming yourself? Some people are not lucky enough to be as naturally adorable as you are. Stop it. You're making me blush. Just come here. You can have your old room. And there are going to be some great parties. How much fun would it be having a brother type tagging along? Josh, you are not my brother. Yeah, let's get that clear. Look, you know what I mean. <laughs> Hi. This is the outfit Hi. for movie watching. Okay. Okay. Something burning? Cookies. Oh my god. What is... She didn't... She would legit oh, put him in like honey, that? You babe. Let's watch the movies. Oh, okay. Did he bring like just Christian a bunch of had a thing for Tony Curtis, so he brought over some like it hot <laughs> and sporadic. <laughs> what position have we I What scene? For a boy of such very constructive. What have you come with? Me? I'm so confused. Is he clueless? I think he is he clueless. At first I thought it was like bad intentioned. Like I don't know, maybe because she's like has rich and like has a nice house and things and whatever. I thought he was using her, but is he just as clueless and does he think that they're she just wants to be his friend? Oh man. Is everyone in this movie clueless? <laughs> it's starting to come together. <gasps> Girl. Oh no. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm actually getting tired. Does he just realize? Did he just realize? <laughs> But, um, I can make you some coffee if you'd like. Oh, no thanks. D, I almost had sex with him. You almost had sex with who? He knows. He knows. <laughs> he knows. I knew he would know. What? Yo, look. Are you bitches blind or something? Yeah. Your man Christian is a cake boy. A, a what? what? He's gay. Not even. Yes, even. I feel like such a bonehead. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Yo, you're getting on the freeway. What? Hey, I'm here with you. I'm here with you. I'm here with you. <laughs> hands on the wheel. <laughs> no, not. <laughs> getting on the freeway is a scary prospect when you're just learning. Boy, getting off the oh. freeway makes you realize how important love is. Stop it! What the heck? Considering how clueless she was, Ty certainly had that damsel in distress act down. Oh, I didn't even realize it was an act. Not, not exactly a montage, but it's. Hey, Cher, <laughs> is it true some gang members like try to shoot Ty in the mall? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, is Ty becoming like the new it girl? It's a very intense spiritual thing. Well, I mean, I, I know when I was held at gunpoint. Excuse me. Uh, Literally. Spiritual. I don't know. I can't. So I guess you have to school. Yeah. Oh. You know what, not today. I'm going over to Melrose with the Amber. We're going to Melrose. Oh, man. Hi. Check out. Ew! Oh, hey, <gasps> Could you show Ty doesn't like him anymore? Don't the slackers prefer that grassy knoll over there? <gasps> <laughs> Ty. No, I loved Ty. She better snap out of it. Now I'm thinking, you know, I know that quote like, oh, is it you're a virgin and you can't drive or I'm a virgin and I can't drive? Because I know she says it or someone says it to her. And now I don't know which way it's going to go because either she's lying about not being a virgin because she thinks that's not cool. And so she's going to like turn back around and be like, guys, I, I let it get to my head. Actually, I'm a virgin and I can't drive. Or what if she says it to someone because she stays a mean girl? What if someone says to her as like just an insult? To be mean. I don't want her to stay a mean girl. She's not mean. She's not mean, but she's letting the the popularity go to her head. But Cher, I don't think ever really did. Like that's so interesting, actually, that Cher literally got held up at gunpoint and robbed. And she didn't feel the need to like boast about it and make it this whole story among the school. Cher is low-key a humble queen. <laughs> So I had to I say as she goes through this Hannah Montana closet. Anyway, why should I care what Josh thinks? Why was I letting it throw me into such turmoil? Because you What's like him. 
Oops, my bad. <gasps> oh, should I write them a note? It's over? It's over. Well, how did I do? Girl. How'd you do? I'm kind of having a personal problem. My mind was somewhere else. I mean, you saw how that biker came out of nowhere, right? <laughs> In the bike lane. Hey, oh my gosh, yeah. the plaid. I to have a license. Two piece. I wouldn't know I failed. I met this guy who's so totally amazing. Then he makes Alton look like a loser. That is so great. <gasps> Josh. <laughs> You've got to help me get Josh. Get Josh what? <laughs> what, I'm not good enough for Josh or something? I, I just... I don't think you mesh well together. Why am I even listening to you to begin with? You're a virgin who can't drive. <sighs> Let's just talk and leave Mellowed, all right? I'm outie. Okay, bye. Oh my god, not a Celine Dion montage. Oh, this is, sounds like a cover. I don't begrudge her a boyfriend. I really. Ooh, I wonder if they have that my size. <laughs> <laughs> Never too distracted or depressed to go shopping. Then suddenly. Oh my god. I like him. <laughs> I love John. Love! Love! I am literally, <laughs> totally, but crazy in love with Josh. I care about the news. Since when? Since now. Girl, you don't gotta change yourself for him. I've seen the way he's been looking at you. Well, uh, I thought they declared peace in the Middle East. I like this boy. Yes. And he likes someone else. How could that be? <laughs> I don't know, but I feel wretched. Who takes care of everyone in this household? True. Who makes sure that Daddy eats right? To tell I you love that he appreciates her. Such good doing since your mother. Oh. I decided I needed a complete makeover. <laughs> Except this time, I make over my soul. I'll make somebody a better person. Oh, Miss Skies, Miss Dears, I need more boxes. They're all filled up. Already great. Ooh. I divided them into entrees and appetizers. This is really decent of you, Travis. Sure. <laughs> I wasn't sure about that. I'm sorry about your shoes. What oh. shoes? The red ones with the, the, the strappy Please, things. Please, he oh, remembers. so last season. He remembers when she doesn't even remember. Can I talk to you a minute? Um, sure. I'm gonna go ahead and cry. <laughs> Let's never fight again, okay? Oh, totally. Next up, number 14, Travis Birkenstock. Okay, cute. I hope that's really the end of that and they're just friends again. I like that. I had no idea you were so motivated. Oh. See? I did. Oh. When I saw the sparks between Ty and Travis, I knew Josh was out of the picture. What happened to the August 28th files? Hmm? What? Mm. Mel wanted them tonight. There were twice as many. I divide them into two piles. Is, is that wrong? Oh my god, I have to redo all that. What are you, some kind of idiot? Hey. hey she didn't know. Just go back to the mall or something. Uh. What's your problem, man? Did I really ruin daddy's lawsuit? No. Okay, we had her and her dad's heart to heart, her and Ty's heart to heart. Here we go. Go out and have fun. Go shopping. Mm. You think that's all I do? Mm -hmm. That's all she cares about? Heart. That's not what I It's okay. Meant. Damage control. It's just, um... Uh, Come on. Mel, I, I want to help out Mel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's the only one who cares about me. That's not true. Are you saying you care about me? Josh. You know what my favorite part of a kiss is? Especially, I would say, if a movie kiss is is when you get to see like the Guess what happened next. the the chance taken. <laughs> As if I am only sixteen <laughs> and this is California, not Kentucky. No, my favorite part of a kiss is when they they kiss and it's like a quick one, and then they back up and then they look at each other and they're like, yes, 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 and then they go in for another one. <gasps> so cute. I, when I get married, dresses. I'm gonna have a sailor dress, but it's gonna be a gown. And then all my bridesmaids are gonna wear sailor hats. That's She's sales, kidding. You know? Oh my god, they're planning our wedding <laughs> Girl, she's about to throw the bouquet! Oh, oh my god, who's gonna get it? Who Cher's gotta get it. it. She's Cher. Yep. Yep, of course. Of course. Oh my gosh, and this is how it's gonna end? I generally like to go into like a post movie discussion and talk about elements of the film and all of that kind of thing, but 
I just don't feel like doing that with this one. Like this movie is just, it's just meant to be enjoyed, not psychoanalyzed, I think. Um, and that's what I've done with it. I did really enjoy it. This, this movie gives me like comfort film vibes. Like I could, this is a perfect now going forward now that I've actually properly seen it. This is like a perfect background Sunday movie. I loved the soundtrack. I loved the outfits. I especially loved how 90s it was. And I think that's why it, it holds up, honestly, to this day is because it's just so in its own moment in time. Like not to compare to Mean Girls, but I think Mean Girls is always going to be a classic because it is so 2000s. And this is a classic because it's so 90s. Like there was some sentences and some things being said at some points where I was like, I, this is a different language. This is so 90s. But that's what makes it so charming when you're watching it through a modern lens. It was cool to see Brittany Murphy in a role because I have not, I, I love Brittany Murphy and I'm obsessed, like obsessed with the movie Uptown Girls with her and Dakota Fanning. It was like a childhood favorite and it stays one of my favorite movies ever. And so that is the Brittany Murphy I'm used to. So it was just really cool to see her in this role. I think I, she's also an eight mile. I think she portrays Emma girlfriend in eight mile those two movies are very different roles to what this one is so it's just cool to see more of britney murphy alicia silverstone i'm trying to think i wonder if i've seen her in anything i'm not sure obviously paul rudd i've seen i know him mostly as the ant-man and also as mike from friends i really really enjoyed Cher's dad as a character i thought he was really funny and then i also really enjoyed uh travis as a character i felt like he was actually I feel like for how little we saw Travis, he was actually such a well-rounded character and had a lot of complex emotions that I really enjoyed watching. I'm so happy that him and Ty ended up together in the end. I saw that coming. If I wanted to get a little bit more nitpicky with the film, I would say I would have wanted to see more of an arc in Dion and Murray's relationship. And I would have liked to see a little bit more of a reason for Cher and Ty's reconciliation. They just kind of decided to be over it. But I think that's kind of perfect at the same time as far as their reconciliation, because that's just what high school girls do. Well, I don't know. Some high school girls, they... they they hold a grudge and so then they uh, will wait until you grovel at their feet. That is one thing where like, I wish we saw a little bit more leading up to that reconciliation instead of it just happening, but I, it's definitely not necessary. It's not one of those movies where you're like, well, this, this wasn't realistic. Like it was just a fun movie and it's iconic for a reason. Like the aesthetic of the film, um, the, the intense 90s monologue, the humor, like the comedy was still funny to this day, which... Very few movies can pull off being funny for longer than a decade, so props to this movie. Let me know what you think of this film. Let me know what your first experience of it was. What is your favorite quote from this film? Because I feel like this has a lot of quotes. I only went in knowing two of them, but are there any like obscure, clueless quotes that you're a fan of? Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.